this is how thin I like my pillows. No one invites me anywhere anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so basically Tanji didn't vlog today, but here I am, bitch. Vlog. Oh, I have to cut out. There you go. We'll get back to y'all when she's doing something interesting, because right now she's just drying strawberries. Hey, weekly vlog. So, this will be a very quick voiceover moment. Um, shout out to my mother. She graduated college. She got her bachelor's degree. I know that's right and she had her associates for the longest she raised her kids and then she said period it's time for my bachelor's all my kids are grown so guys please laugh with me at this moment though bitch everybody's recording their family member and why the fuck when my mom got up when it was her turn the people in front of me got up and blocked my whole fucking view shout out to my siblings because i was able to actually see what the fuck was going on but bitch i was so mad but then i got over it because you know it's it's fine but yeah enjoy these funny ass tiktoks i made but all in all i'm so proud of her and was super emotional and it's a beautiful thing to witness your parent literally graduate college like it's so beautiful so enjoy these little clips <laughs> Yeah, the life update that we need to do right now. I'm like, hello. So I just came back from doing groceries, from getting the mail, from getting this car ready to be sold. Yeah, we need to do a life update. We're finally back from the cruise that we were just on. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. Finally back from the boat. What is that? Okay, so a few things. The last vlog because I was just editing it. My car. She's gonna be sold. We're saying bye to Mrs. Tonka Trunk. She came, she went, we fixed whatever was wrong with her, and now you know what? We decided to sell her and move on to a new car. Am I happy about it? No, because I'm tired of switching cars so often. But you know what? This is just part of my life, the phase of life that I'm in, it's fine, and I will gracefully move on from this also in the viewfinder this curl in the front looks very little and like just like out there um august i do need to make an appointment to re-dye my hair but i decided let's sit down let's catch up let's do a weekly vlog a little mini one something one i feel like lately it's been harder for me to vlog about stuff because i feel like nothing is really going on because i know that this month and next month will be pretty busy i think a vlog or two will be fine um so i wanted to sit down today and open this little bag, this little order I did. Um, work is going great, family life is going great, and no complaints there. Um, let me check my teeth because I definitely just have mad food. I'm lying on the mad food, but I know my lips are getting pale as hell. But guys, yeah, so we're back on our health journey. The hair has been growing a lot, as you can see. And yeah, so today someone is possibly coming to see the car and possibly buy it fingers crossed and then we came we went on the we went on the cruise we went and we came um that was what it was you'll see in the vlog and my birthday's in august no plans really for that just yet and what else what else what else we're almost at 1000 subscribers guys like i'm very proud of myself thank you so much for liking what you see obviously if you're subscribed you like what you see fix my plant um and yeah so that this has been really fun to do and really just seeing it grow but the reason that i'm just like giving up on vlogging ideas is because a lot doesn't happen in the week for me to be honest and two i'm ready to get the moving out vlog started but the good news is so that will come soon but the it was kind of like on the back burner because we were paying off credit card debts and things like that great news we have one more payment left on my credit card and we'll be done with all the credit card debt very proud of myself yes and then um we can definitely go back to possibly house hunting and that's gonna be amazing it's gonna be crazy i'm gonna be 27 next month and um if we if we are able to and i say we but if i'm able to accomplish this um we because if this is your first time seeing me i'm in a relationship of like five years so 
we would be buying the house together but um i say me because i know in my for like generational generational wealth and like generational success um I'd be like a second generation buying our first home and very young. Um, I'm so proud of my parents that they bought a house at the age that they did. Like they definitely did apartments and things and they raised their kids and now they have a beautiful home as you've seen in the vlogs before. And um, I wanna lead by their footsteps and buy a beautiful home. And so does my partner's parents, you know, they've had a beautiful home. He's lived in a home his whole life. So like this is the beautiful home and I can't wait for it to be my turn. I think I've it's very hard and deserve this okay at this phase of my life everything should follow after that and by everything you know what i mean by everything okay period so yeah i just want to give you a little life update didn't want to leave you hanging um gym membership is canceled i did get a treadmill the mini ones <laughs> maybe we could see a little sneak peek of that she's here in the room with me and we canceled the gym membership because we won't have no car anymore i'm gonna hold off on buying a car at like asap because i work from home and I really don't go nowhere. No one invites me anywhere anyways. But all that being said, um, yeah. So nothing is really new. Oh, oh damn. Nothing is new. I just wanted to open this package on camera with you. Because I have been trying to, you know, since there's no car, you kind of have to buy what you need. Delivery. <laughs> Which, whatever, I don't mind. So lately, guys hello my head has been hurting like my head has been so sensitive to pillows lately and the pillow i bought one time flattened out i bought another one a month ago she flattened out too bitch there's a pillow so what i where i fucked up was me and my boyfriend went pillow shopping one day he said i'm getting this one and we were like okay should i get the same or should i get a different one and I was being annoying. I was like, no, I like mine. Like, this one's good. She was good until she wasn't. Now, I genuinely be trying to sneak and take my boyfriend's pillow. Girl, this shit. Imagine, I'm like, this is how thin I like my pillows. <laughs> um, I need to open her up. But, ooh. Yeah, so I hope this is the last time that I need to buy another pillow. For real. But, she's supposed to fluff up a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Can y'all see? Ooh. She's really not bad. Okay. And then, so basically this is my um unboxing, my little errands haul. Because I don't have a car to get my errands. To pick up what I need. So, my calendar. She is officially reached her last month. So I will be filling her up later in the week. Love that. Simple. And I got some. I love a good candle in the room. So I got some here. Soy wax. I hope this is good. Not the rocks in there, child. These are small shit. It's really nothing crazy. I'm not too excited about it. But I will try not to be a party pooper and i'm just trying to do this fast because <laughs> yeah so it's 1 30 basically the guy's gonna come at three and then at eight we have therapy like girl i just and literally when i did i tell you that when i came back from groceries i just put everything in there rushing okay so then we also got some clear bins for you know things that's needed of course and what else i think that's all we need honestly have some summer sets to post it's gonna be exciting um i think my instagram is shadow band guys if you know anything about shadow band instagram please let me know because uh, it's cute pens yeah <clears throat> if you guys know anything please let me know because I don't get it. Like, genuinely. Yeah, so I think my business page is shadow banned. I think what happened is... It might think that I'm, like, a fake troll account or something like that. So anything I post... 
no one really sees it. And I know my posts are ass, and I'm following the algorithm too. I don't know, dude. So my second candle I got. I'm really like. Sorry. Oh, this one smells better. Mmm. Okay. Much better. Does it say what the flavor is? Roland's Fantasy, which I'm not sure what that means. But anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in. We have, we have been on a good little schedule for posting too, for videos. And yeah, I'm most proud, right, proud of right now the fact that we got that debt settled. Like, But yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Morning. You know what time it is. Vamos a arreglar la cama. We're spending the weekend house sitting, babysitting. Let me show you the first one who's out for the count. Morning. All right, it's Friday, and the kids are at school. I just dropped my parents off at the airport and girl we're clocking in i'm tired as hell i'm running on three hours of sleep <laughs> yeah there's really nothing else i could say to you right now got some chick-fil-a this morning midday i'm going to definitely wash my hair and we might go to just signing in I might go to the mall because i got this like really good scent Thing. It looks like pork is busting right now, so yeah. <laughs> I wish I had more to say. My dad this morning was absolutely freaking the fuck out. He doesn't. He's like me. He don't like anything that requires you to be off the floor, like your two feet not planted on the floor. Count me out. And I'm the same way. I'm just starting into everything, guys. Oh my god. I'm like I need a nap at some point today, but I don't know how this is gonna happen. <sighs> we'll talk later because I need to clock the fuck in and get to work and that fan is hitting me the right way. It's gonna be too bad. But we will talk soon. Hello guys, so today we are going to Oh my god, my hair looks so crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. I order from Yankee Candle. Recently, I've been watching Top, Top Boy, guys. <laughs> I'm a Top Boy. <laughs> and Loki is busting. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's raining a little bit. Um, But yeah, we were just, the windows were down, but put them up because my hair looks actually ridiculous. Guys, I never really wear my hair out. The highlights bust when I do, though. Like, I think I'm gonna get them redone. Talk to y'all when we're at the mall, you know. Any words? No, I'm just tired. Mm. Yeah, that's Tangie for you. <laughs> that's Tangie for y'all. Like, one talking shit, and I can tell you who it'll be. It's you. It's you, bitch. Anyways, TTYL, talk to y'all when we're back. Time to fucking. This is my. This is what we're listening. Hold on. Here's what we're gonna be listening to on the way to the mall. This is what I have to say to you guys. So embarrassing. Okay guys, so basically, we're at the mall. Uh, if anybody hasn't noticed, clearly when... I, clearly when I'm with Tanji, I tend to take the fucking wheel here, cause... <laughs> Look at my hair. Anyways. Shit. <laughs> Um, this episode about concussions and you're just going, is that us in the future? Tanji. So basically every time I fucking see old woman, Tanji's like, is that us in the, in the future? Who is Tanji? Literally no yeah, one is looking. Right? You were like, okay, like they think I'm a psychopath, not you. I'm the one talking into some fucking, what does this look like, a robot? Like, <laughs> Guys, do you want to see a little foot check? 
Yeah. And then we got some. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all good. Thank you. And then we already see. Mm, it smells good. Mommy told me never to do that because it's like sometimes they like sense it with like drugs that'll make you pass out. So that's why I did. So Macy's ladies. <laughs> I've never been so embarrassed. I mean, your age, yeah, that's what they do when there's no bitches around. That's how there's bitches act. around, so I don't know why they're acting like that. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> like, we are the bitches around. Guys, look at our Yankee candle. All right, time to get started on the mukbang, guys. Hola, mis amor. Let me stop being disrespectful. So we're recording with Tanji's camera in here. We got Auntie Annie's and marinara sauce. This is the regular pretzel. Hello, everyone. So today we're doing a mukbang. Oh, are we doing it on your camera? Oh. This is what a good angle is. Do you see the lighting hitting us both? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Y el so hay hambre otra vez. My hair be like. Yes, when that day when I went over and your hair looked like one blob. <laughs> Enough. Okay, guys. So we got Auntie Annie's the regular pretzel and marinara sauce. And we got boba, matcha. Sophia, that lady's waiting for us. Bubble tea. Who? <laughs> Do you think she knows? She's literally staring at me. And my sister got terrified. Sophia, she literally staring. He's hard to go. So we need to move the car. <laughs> no, oh, we're not <laughs> fucking backing out. So she told you to. I, you gotta tell her to go. See? I gotta tell her to go. <laughs> You're wrong. Bro, you were just gonna eat in her face. Yeah. Can you show them what you yep. want me to try? That's what she's gonna try. The top. Oh, good. It is good. Much is good. Mm. They gave me a free um sun scent thing for the car, so when mommy comes, I'm just gonna put it in here. Oh, how sweet. She's gonna be like, oh. time to try our marinara and Auntie Annie's. Sophia's a really good liar, guys. I just want you to know that. <laughs> that shit busted on my face on camera. Mm -hmm. And it got on my shirt. I'm gonna mm. kill myself. No tengo buena noticia. ¿Qué pasó? Cuando llegamos, yo le dije a Sofía dónde están las fundas. ¿Se perdieron? Lo dejó en el baño. ¿En el baño? ¿O tú estás en ese entonces? Yo fui a ver, yo fui al baño y después, no, después se me olvidó. Yo fui para el carro y se me olvidó. ¿Qué hace, no? ¿Qué te resumen entonces? ¿Cuándo te viste la puerta? ¿Y por qué tú sabes que hay? Es mentira, abuela. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Y la cámara? Brother. We're gonna open the call with abuela. Abuela, say hi. ¿Eh? <laughs> Dile hi. ¿A quién? ¿A la cámara, abuela? ¿Te están grabando? Yo tengo seguidores. No sé dónde está conmigo. She said, ah. who the Who would I be talking to? Huele la abuela, vamos a ver tu reacción. Es muy lejos de aquí. Huele. Es muy lejos de aquí. Huele. Es muy lejos de aquí. 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 Es to go on their first cruise for my mom's birthday. My dad was literally petrified, but he made it through. He literally had a blast. But this is her showing my grandma the whole scenery i love cruises guys i will not lie i was convinced by my boyfriend's dad and really it's just really a smart affordable option like you can really travel a lot through a cruise um and i was thinking the other day like damn i've been to mad places in like only four years because of a cruise so um I really encourage you guys to try one. I am not sponsored by Carnival Cruise, obviously. Is anybody sponsored by them? She, they can hit me up if they want. <laughs> but yeah, this is them having a little blast. And they definitely would do it maybe one more time. That's all they said. Maybe just one more time. But nah, I don't think it'll be um, a routine for them like it is for my boyfriend's family. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, did you see I put it pink? 
to match the balloons. You ready to finish? Yeah. At school tomorrow, bitch. Are you bringing me to school? Because the way you're moving is looking like... Girl, why you was on the phone? I blew up all of those. So let's go. Yeah, well, was I supposed to do prop this whole thing? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody let me know why Sophia feels the need to be skin to skin. Here's the finished products. Mm -hmm. Show them the entrance. We have the regalos. We got some sparkles on the floor, and then you come in. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> we also put some up here and then she's gonna walk in like <laughs> and she's gonna put a little cake right here hopefully my friend cookie box nice <laughs> please let me know why i was feeling like monet mcmichael and thought that i could fucking wax my armpit bitch all I'm gonna, I'm leaving this clip in to only let you know that this was the most embarrassing, most humbling experience of my life. My sister had to take that shit off my arm, and that, that was after 20 to 30 minutes of me saying no. So, never doing that again. Do not recommend. Just because you can do a Brazilian fine does not mean that the armpit will be easier. Letting you know now. Good morning. Yo me veo un fucking mess, bro. Good day. I woke up and I said, I want to vlog. About what, though? That is the question. Y'all. Pookie be aggravating me when she acts like she's scared to death. So, yeah, today we have, today is Saturday. We have two birthday parties to go to well two parties one is a b-day one is a grad party so i'm getting ready to look on camera with y'all we have to leave for two yeah i don't think i should do my makeup now i will shave my face though so yeah i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna shave my face and my eyebrows tidy up the room the room is not that bad i hope it on camera doesn't look bad and then also i'm gonna let my hair down let the curls drop and yeah I'm not tired, I just think, no, I'm tired. I'm definitely burnt out, let's catch up. I think I'm probably combining this, this vlog with like, when I was in, when I was in L of B house sitting, my parents went on their first cruise. <laughs> Can I say that I might have inspired them? I'll take a little credit for that. Did they like it? I think yes and no. That's the thing about cruises, it's like really a, or mix for some people i also think it depends who you go with what boat you go on who the other people that are on the boat with you are like you know so anyways they got it done apparently my dad was like very very terrified of getting on a boat and everything turned out okay he was like i might have been overreacting <laughs> so yeah as you guys know, I get an oil, put it on my face for some slip, for some, you know, so I can get the hairs off and I'm not like, you know, and yeah. It's not really much to catch up on, girl. I've been working so much OT because the girls is not playing about getting their house. I don't want to say the vlogging is going to slow down, but I'm really at a place of like, what is there to vlog about, you know? And that's that kind of makes me sad because um, I don't want to like stop vlogging because vlogging is very fun, very casual. I feel like vlogging would be easier if I had a car again, which I don't, but I will soon. Um, can anyone comment down below if you've ever like got a used car? that like you had to get do a payment plan for because i think buying the cars that are like 2010 and old and younger it's not working out for me it's been like four cars at this point and it's just not working and it's really nothing i'm doing 
think I'm just not having the best luck. And I'll be humble and admit that. And it's like it's hard to not to do what you want to do when you don't have the finances to do it. You know what I mean? So now we're at a good place and now we have a little more flexibility. I successfully paid off all of my credit card debt. I never thought I'd see the day. Next is the stupid ass school loans. Yep, I'm a hater. I'm gonna call it stupid ass school loans. Um, I'm grateful for, for the help from the government. But god damn. And okay, it's like it's really honestly I don't wanna downplay it, but it's like okay, cute, you got a degree. And people will be like, Well, it's your fault that you paid all that money for college and got a degree that isn't that good and it's like there really is no such thing as a good or bad degree i feel like like i feel like it depends really there is such thing as a good and bad career let's talk about it mm, my acne lately has been so bad and as you can see the adhd is absolutely coming through heavy today but yeah some careers that require you do get a degree and i feel like those careers pay very good okay now I feel you can get by in this world because it used to be a, a place where you can't get a job without a degree and now there are still certain jobs you cannot get without a degree which I completely agree with like being a doctor <laughs> get your fucking degree bitch you better just get your ass up out of there till you have that degree home but like you know certain things definitely require it but i have an art degree this is your first time watching me and i like to mention that there's a psych ow a psych minor in there because there fucking is because i <laughs> i spent a majority of college making my major psych in my minor art and then at the end i said i'm, I'm switching it don't ask me wanted to be an art therapist but massachusetts required way too much for my liking to become one and i was like you know what i already have an uncomfortable amount of debt and i genuinely have no more drive to go to college anymore like i'm simply done doing college like and i think a big part of it too is like taking gap years and breaks and Find it because of finances because I'm trying to work and things like it was very it was a moment college was fun until it wasn't <laughs> so I knew that I was content with my art degree and the the name of the game is using your degree and knowing how to use it you know what I mean where you can use it in multiple places where you can do you can do fine if you network and maneuver your way and it's not sell yourself but you know what i mean like know how to use your words and be at the right place at the right time so because of that what i just said i've landed some amazing opportunities right and right now i have it for the first time in my life zero complaints about the job i am doing matches my lifestyle matches my needs i want to stay here as long as i can like i want this to be one of the longest jobs i've ever stayed at i think the longest job i've ever stayed at was three years and i was like what 15 i started working when i was 13 and that's why i'm so big on like hustle culture like working hard because <clears throat> when i hear people younger than me talking about Oh, I don't have to work till I'm 18. Bitch, get up and get your ass to McDonald's. Don't piss me the fuck off. And the only thing that I do regret is I wish I was better about saving when I was younger. But again, you only know if you don't know that this says uh, something's even a thing or how to do something. You sometimes you don't even have the knowledge to look up what to do for certain situations. You know, does that make sense? So with all that being said. Girl, these eyebrows be pissing me off, especially this one, this end right here. Um, but yeah, forgot where I was going with that. Yeah, the school, it's a lot of money. It's honestly, I feel like it's like the amount of a down payment for our house. And does it suck? Yes. Is that the word we live in? Yes. 
did I sign up for college when I probably should have reconsidered my options? Yes. Do I still have a degree though? Yes, I do. So, with that being said, if one day the world decides, okay, all of the people without a degree, you need to go back to school and get one. My ass will be like, bye. I got my little art degree that y'all think is like not worth nothing, but I got it. But I got it. You know what I'm saying? So, she's there. And that's why I pride myself on the psych because I genuinely had a few credits left to finish psych. And I simply changed my mind. I was like, you know what? I want to keep it more broad. I want to. Because what I noticed, a lot of the careers in psych require a secondary degree and quite frankly the life i was like the life i was living like i was like right like student by day stripper by night the lifestyle i had i don't know i think i would have been very disappointed if i went let's just say if i went over a hundred thousand dollars in debt i am not that far along but i think that that's not the best and again i did college for seven years on and off so her time came her time went and the, the the time when it was really fun was, I mean, but I think everybody feels this way, it's like freshman year, sophomore year. But even then, because I was in a dorm and I felt independent for like the first time in my life. But all that to say, I, I, this is my secret, I do put Vicks rub on my acne. Because it helps. I do. I know you're probably like, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, trust me tried and true since i was little i think even my sister does it um yeah point being said i would now work in the mental health role anyway so people that say you can't do it with our degree i'm doing exactly what i want to do and the crazy thing is like the degree i got i don't think i would want to work in the creative field i like doing creative side jobs side hustles but you know what i mean does that make sense I love doing mental health work and yeah oh back to what we were talking about originally the whole like i don't want to stop vlogging i just sometimes feel like there's nothing to vlog about because i've been working so hard some weeks monday sunday through sunday because of my choice because i'm trying to do overtime but it's really the same old same old stuff my boyfriend's family house i was about to say boyfriend's house like it's not all of us in here it's I'm still my boyfriend's family's house i feel like it's the same old same old wake up drink pull up drink no i feel like i just wake up do a little room exercise go to work journal have a little food go back to work play sims i don't know like does anybody really want to see that and I'm, then i'm like yeah they do because there's suddenly since doing vlogs in shorts don't worry about the hair it needs to like fall down this is what i mean like eventually my hair will like you know do this but at the beginning it's like you know but yeah it's like mom my age she's still there right now guys hold on let me just get some water so let me sit over here instead let me sit over there and talk oh well this is cute <laughs> so what i'm saying is like because there's um just constant routine I feel like there's nothing new to really film, nothing to look forward to. I'm filming a series behind the scenes, but it requires a lot of, like, monthly check-ins. So, I don't want to, like, talk about that until I actually post it or if I actually follow through with it. I don't really go nowhere, and I feel like it would be easier to weekly vlog if I'm in my car and I can go places. Not, and, and what I was saying is I feel like, oh, well, or I'm like, oh, I don't think you guys will like this anyway, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, well maybe you do because my channel has grown aggressively you know to like almost a thousand subscribers which omg i'm so thankful so grateful we're at like 9 15 right now and i just never thought i'd see the light i'm dramatic i just never thought like we would get to that number and we are so i feel like it's like oh my god my content is worth something if anything i just want the channel to be something that you can get something from and i've said that a lot of times before yeah i guess i'll vlog and it's also hard because i'm trying to save money and a lot of vlogs do good when you're doing hauls and going places and like i know i know exactly 
what you gotta do in a blog to get some views. Not really, because sometimes my blogs flop. Yeah. I don't know. We're definitely gonna need to make plans for a new car, new house, saving up. Um, I think I should, you know, we're gonna do more sit down videos and vlogs so that way I can kind of space it out, do fun shit in between. And what else? Definitely have my birthday coming up. I don't know what I'm doing. At first, I was like, oh, I just want to go to the Dominican parade. Because where I live, there's a Dominican parade every year around my birthday. Period. But then some people were like, oh my god, like, they've outgrown that scene. Sorry. But yeah, I do want to still go there. Um, but I don't know if I want to just do that for my birthday. And so I have a, I need to make a hair appointment to re-dye this blonde because girl, the roots. <laughs> I really have nothing for you and I feel so lame and I'm so sorry, but really, I think this is just what it is. When you're in that grind mode, it's a lot of, and a lot of hard work behind the scenes. You feel me? Let's continue the vlog. Oh. Not me. First of all, I'm about to do my hair, so calm down. Morning. I have not been to this camera. I'm a little, I'm a little ashamed of myself. Picked up the camera, said that that day. Didn't vlog shit else. And remember, I was like, well, I don't really know. Like, I don't like bringing cameras. My camera's are in places and events, and you know. So, the grad party, like, it was fine. And the party after. <laughs> But anyways, today's officially what? Um, today's... What day is it today? I did order some Amazon goodies. So, I want to show y'all that, of course. Today, today the mental health is a little, like, sour. But I'm trying to push through. This is the oh, shampoo and the leave in moisturizer. Voila that. Voila that. Do you know how much that was? $15, I think. When I buy hair products, I just do the bundle. And they have a great bundle. They just always do. Ozzy always has a great bundle. So I'm going to get the bundle, bitch. Um deodorant because lately my i was like okay i'm gonna switch to men's deodorant summer's eat was it what's it called it's it's one of those they had like feminine type scents and i was like perfect like there will not be a small issue at all i think my body's like girl she's like rejecting it so we're done um I just went out of this primer. This is the NYX, or do the girls say NYX or NYX? Let me know. NYX Honey Do Me Up. This thing, she does what she got to do with that foundation. Okay, so Pond. I love Pond, okay? She is that girl. And I like to use this. Oh shit. I like to use okay period. I like to use ponds. Um especially this one. Well I haven't tried the rejuvenous one. <laughs> this is the anti wrinkle period. Listen. Look it is nothing wrong with a little anti wrinkle cream. But um you know, where if oh where before that kinda but yeah, ponds is very good. Very hydrating. Co sign it a hundred percent. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, she's thick. She's like, yeah. So we have an anti wrinkle one. I tried their B12 one, very good. And this is the other one that I try all the time daily moisturizer. I literally ran out. I don't know if this is their like older, um, their older packaging or new one, but I got my other one and I'm running out. So can last me. I think October. Um, also, my acne lately 
Um, I do deal with PCOS, and I think getting off of birth control did not make it any better. But the acne lately has been. Let me just say, look. First of all, generosity to the brim, and that's why. And that's why I fuck with the OGs. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I have to get it that big. Um, and last but not least, my camera. My, the battery like keeps dying very fast, and I'm like, mm mm. Mm -mm -mm. I know what that is. I'm replacing you. So I'm gonna keep using her till the wheels fall off. But I was like, okay, I need to get another. Girl, this little thing costs 50 bucks. So yeah, it's my little Amazon haul. If there's anything that you wanted out of that, which maybe, maybe not, um, I'll link it down below. But yeah, oh, this is cute. It comes in a little traveling case. Obviously, we take the plastic off. But yeah, I'm gonna start work now. I was having so much fun with y'all. But now we gotta go back to reality. <laughs> the bun is cute though. The little hair is cute though. But I'm gonna go to work. It's gonna be a great work day. I'm gonna speak positivity into my day. I'm gonna get my, my manifestation journal and all of that. Just got really sad really quick but i'm gonna put this all away and i'll see you guys later hey friends so i'm just doing a little self-care and i wanted to show you in detail how i do my fucking press-ons because the girls be asking and i be telling y'all and then y'all keep asking and i keep telling y'all so let me just show y'all um but investing in an e-file has literally been a game changer the real secret to keeping your press on nails on very long is filing your nail in the press on nail and that way um the glue gets in every crevice of your nail in the press on and that's how the hell they stay on long but um yeah i do cuticle care and everything with my e-file i am not a professional nail artist so i'm probably using the wrong bits and whatever but i really just go with what it feels like on my hand but yeah i just was doing a little bit of cuticle care i believe um before putting on my press on so i just wanted to show you what that looks like and let me know if you also do this with your press ons but i love doing this this is definitely a game changer Okay. Okay. First of all, this lens is like cropping everything out. Hold on. It's like cropping the top of my head. Hey vlog. I don't know if this is the beginning or the end of a vlog. But I just wanted to come on here and show you this shit. Because that is crazy. I have not burned like this in a while. And my face is burnt, but it's not showing as red as this. Even though I feel like they're both the same color. Good morning, good evening. It's Monday. And mm, I think this will be the end of the vlog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Yesterday we went fishing for the first time. I didn't really actually fish. Also, please ignore the chin acne. The chin acne has been going extremely hard lately. And then... <laughs> I've never been self-conscious about my forehead or wrinkles. And I don't know if it's because of the sunburn, but like... I looked the other day and I was like, I seen some lines and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No. No. I don't know why I made a big deal for myself. Like, it's really not that fucking serious. Like, I'm gonna get old eventually. That's bound to happen. But whoa. Oh my god. I think it's because my forehead is sunburned. So it's like, <laughs> it's fine. I just wanted to, I guess, close out this vlog. And yeah, we went fishing for the first time i didn't fish because i'm scared of hurting animals yep i'm annoying so sorry sorry don't have any fun pictures for you of me fishing but um yeah i got some burnt and it was cloudy the whole day so if you can let me know how and why that happened <laughs> thank you um yeah we they they were well we everybody was fishing and 
they ate what they caught after we grilled it up seasoned it cleaned it and we spent the whole weekend at my boyfriend's um, cousin's house so like family friends and it was really fun and you guys know i just really don't like to pull out the camera at anybody's face and put it in everybody's face because like people people don't sign up for that you're trying to hang out with me you know so i just try to like find a balance and i really don't have one so whatever to that i'm gonna probably just i don't know about the vlogging we'll come back to this idea for now um please make sure to watch my fenty hair review video you know she's doing okay for now that at the, the time i'm recording this it is at like 400 views um and we're at like 9 30 subscribers i'm um, definitely getting a lot of hate lately a lot of negative people and i'm like ew but they say that means that your your shit is broadening up like your shit's getting to people now even people who don't watch your shit so maybe that's a good thing i just don't fucking like the rude comments but that's okay report them and move on but yeah girl i got this sunburn and shit hurts and um that's what I did over the, we did over the weekend. Ew. Like, I don't know why I'm so self-conscious about this. Because, like, like it's bound to happen. And am I, am I about to pay for filler? I don't think so. But I'm 26. Like, that shouldn't. I think it's because of the suntan. So my skin is, like, tightening up. Um, because I don't have wrinkles on my forehead. Like, that's just not a thing. And it's not really genetically speaking a lot of my family members don't really have wrinkles on their forehead like that so with that being said i just wanted to check in say hi say bye and show you this horrendous burn mark and encourage you to watch the hair videos probably gonna do some more sit down hair videos too coming up and i'm gonna try to vlog but like i told y'all nothing has really been going on so it's hard to vlog and i hate when the whole vlog is just me in the room an hour long different days different fits me in the room um i don't know if people don't care and they don't mind but i mind so but you know what that should be changing so i'm manifesting i will think of more video ideas below because i'm not closing this youtube page down it's not happening even if it makes money or not i'm not closing this shit down so sorry to everybody sorry to the people that thought this was gonna come to an end it's not it's not but I'm so excited because we're almost at 1k but I'm gonna let you go thanks for watching today's video I will see you in the next one and make sure to watch my whole playlist okay you had a you have a bunch of bunch of vlogs to catch up on and hair videos so yeah that's all I gotta say I'm here bald with no no earrings on either Ooh, at least the hair looks good right that's always a plus yeah let me know I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and make sure you watch my travel vlogs too. Do we have a trip coming up? Maybe, maybe not. You guys know how it be. But I'm just here working hard, saving up, and getting ready for our next step in our life. And I'm going to be 27 in August. So, yeah, not, not much. You haven't missed much. So, I'm going to um, let you go. And we'll see you in the next one. Whatever it might be, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to watch the Fenty Hair Review. All right, bye. Thank you.